you, how difficult would that transition be from coming from a program like Kansas to going to a program like Charlotte, where obviously there's some rebuilding going on? Well, exactly. But I, I don't. I think every uh, you know program has its rebuilding stages. You know where you have to get over a hump. And you know me coming from Kansas with the winning mentality, I think that I can actually help. You know, instead of having you know a downfall, I just bring my winning mentality and hopefully try to install it in the guys there. What do you think it is about your game that would really entice Charlotte to want to draft you? Um, that I'm a winner. You know what I mean? Uh, I think my record proves that, and uh, you know that um, I'm a competitor, and that I'm going to bring it every day. So. You know, I think that any team in the draft should be able to be happy to take them. What about the things you need to work on? What do you, what do you see in your game that you need to work on at the next level? A lot. You know, I see a whole. I, don't, I think I'm nowhere near my peak. You know, I think it's a lot of things I need to get better. At, you know, especially on um, facing up. You know, um, I think I'm pretty good offensively now, but I could get a lot better. And um, I want to be able to get to the point where I can guard any position in the floor. Have you met with the Cavs at all? Say it again? The Cavs. Have you met with the Cavs? Yes, I have. Last night? Yeah. No, two nights ago. Two nights ago. Do you have a workout set up with them? Uh, in discussion. Do you think you and, I don't know how much you know about them, you and Tristan kind of play the same spot and they took him pretty high last year. Do you think you guys could play together? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, I would be willing to adjust. You know what I mean? And, um, I'm pretty sure he would do the same thing for me, you know, but. I think anything could work. We both basketball players at the end of the day, so we'll find a way to make it work. He played a little bit of center, but is considered a power forward. Can you feel comfortable playing center in the NBA? I'll guard any position on the floor. I'll try to. I'm not saying I'm going to lock him down, but if I have to, I'll try. How's the whole combo process for like the past two days? Um, I'm ready to start playing. I, I'm literally tired of everything. I, I want to get called, my name called, and I want to start the season. You said you felt like you should be the number one pick. Why is that? I'm a competitor, man. Um, anybody that competes this game, you know, most of the guys are probably not saying it. You know what I mean? But I'm sure they feel that way. You know what I mean? This draft is very deep with talent. So, I mean, there's a lot of guys here that could be number one pick. And um, I'm not saying that every day was definitely worthy of number one pick. We all know that. You know what I mean? So, I don't want to get my words mixed up. But, you know, I, I compete just like everybody else. So, I'm going to compete when it comes to anything. And what makes you not afraid to like voice that and speak your mind? I'm a man, like I'm a grown man, so I don't feel that I should have my thoughts. You know what I mean? I, and I don't think I'm saying anything wrong. You know what I mean? Anthony Davis no one pick. It's pretty obvious he's gonna be no one pick, you know what I mean? But I don't feel that I'm wrong for saying that, you know, I, I also could be no one pick if I had to come down to it. So I mean, there's nothing I don't feel there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. I, and I'm not trying to bash anybody at all, you know, that's not what I'm doing. So I don't want anybody to get my words mixed up at all, you know what I mean? Anthony's a great player, so he deserves his spot, you know what I mean? I'm going to go where I go, and I'm going to do what I do. So, is, is, is there a point, this may come out wrong, is there a point where you would get almost offended if you slip past a certain point? You know what I mean? If you slip past two or three or four, is there a point where you get aggravated or mad? Or? Like I said, if I, if I don't, I'm a competitor, so I want to be the best at what I'm doing. So I'm going to feel offended. Yes, I'm definitely going to feel offended. Um, so like I said, where you go at, you know, where you get picked at really don't matter. It's about who shows up come November. So um, the aggravation and the upset that I have if I if I slip low, then it'll just come out come November. Where's that point? Huh? Where's that point for you? You know, I'm not. That's not nothing I can really discuss. You know, wherever I go, I go, and I'll be happy with it. How how does being from the DMV? How has that shaped you as a basketball player? Uh, I just think you know the mentality of you know I'm actually from DC. DC. It's yeah. all the same thing. You know, that's yeah. the DMV in DC, but. Uh, just having that mentality of me you know, not backing down from anybody, you know, I, I feel that you should never be afraid of your opponent. I mean, you can respect them, but I respect them too much. How good do you feel like your teammate Tyshawn Taylor can be in the NBA? Say it again? How good do you feel like Tyshawn Taylor, your teammate, can be? Well, I think Tyshawn is going to be great, a great player in the league. You know, just because the simple fact that, uh, you know, a lot of people call him a live and die player because of his turnovers, but. You know what I mean, in college and league is so much space, and then Tashawn's not going to have those turnovers he had, you know, in college. And he's fast, he's explosive, he's a great scorer. Um, you know, so Tashawn's going to do great in the league, and I, I can guarantee that.